Guys, another uh, aspect of this piggery uh, design that I want to talk to you about is you can see this is all open. There's, a, there's airflow right through. There's a, we've got, we haven't got curtains. We haven't got high walls to the roof and so on. It is very hot in Botswana during the summer and so on. For winter, we have things like adaptations like that and hot boxes. But in the summer, guys, remember, big pigs die from heat. Small pigs die from cold. So keep them warm when they're small. But when they're bigger, uh, get past 20 kilos, they don't need any heating and they, they, they prefer that kind of temperature, especially, especially the sows and the boars uh, for mating and so on. But so firstly, it is open yet for, for airflow. The other very important aspect is that gap. So this is a split roof. This side, which is the northern side, this is north, um, is higher than the southern side. Now, guys, in the summer when it's stinking hot outside and you come under, under this roof, it feels like about 10 degrees lower in temperature than outside. Why is that? So what you get, our predominant winds here is northerly, so it comes from the north. So you have a column of air coming in, and now this roof is pitched going up. So what's happening is the air gets compressed as it goes up. And when it reaches that opening there, you've got a high pressure air at the top and a lower pressure underneath. So what's happening is that low pressure sucks um, ammonia and hot air and body heat from the piggery without having f needing fans. So you've got a venturi effect. If you know what that means, Google it if you don't, and so on. So which sucks air from the piggery passively without electricity and so on. And so you can see this building, the, the next building, all of our buildings are this design. It's a split roof um, with the northern side, the high side, the southern side, the lower side, and so on. And it works like an absolute, absolute bomb. Uh, guys, very, very, very important in your design.